video. I'm going to retrofit this old Kyoshio Pure 10 with a modern 2.4 gigahertz controller. The reason I'm doing that is because over the time I've lost the original controllers and uh, crystals are now getting harder to get and whatnot. And they don't, sharing an old controller amongst many uh, units isn't as easy as it used to be, or at least it's starting to get too much hassle. So I've brought an ET3, comes with a receiver, the transmitter, easy to bind, and it means I'm gonna have to play out to play with this without any hassle. Let's bring you in close and I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh. This is the uh, Pure 10. Let's take the body off. Pop that up out of the way. <clears throat> Here's the old receiver, as you can see, it's the old crystal. I'm not going to chuck this because I do plan to try and find an original controller one day because I've still got the original box. So I want to keep this all original, or at least keep all the original parts. So we'll rip that bit out in a minute. As I said, I've got the ET3, it's about £30 inside it. We've got the destructions, we'll keep them on this occasion because we want to know how to bind. We've got a rather snazzy looking controller. There's the receiver. The receiver's a lot smaller than the old stuff. Controller's not too bad. It's got some features on it, obviously on off, channel one, channel two trim, endpoint adjustment, high and low for channel two, reverse transmitters and dual steering rate. I expect that to take four double A's. But here's the receiver. It is Diddy compared to the uh, older school stuff. As you can see, it's about half the size, if not a little bit smaller. Right, let's get that fitted. Right, I've already snipped the cable tie. I'll get rid of them. They'd be for uh, your throttle and your steering servo or for your speed controller rather. This, I assume, yeah. There we go, that's the old one taken off. Right, we wanna keep that tube because the uh, new receiver didn't come with one. Like I say, I'm gonna keep the old uh, speed, uh, receiver. Pop that out of the packet. We're gonna bung that on there. We're going to just loosely measure that. I'll keep the old bit of the tube in case I need something for another day. Slip the antenna up in there. Work out. That's your steering servo. Channel one, channel two. I believe channel two is steering. Channel two, we we'll go for for a second. That's the second one. Right, we've put the steering servo in, the electronic speed controller in. I've put four AA batteries in the controller. 
Yeah, it's now working. The only thing I can say, the kit didn't come with it's a bit of sticky back foam for the receiver. We'll try and find something for that in a moment. I'm just going to tidy these cables up with a new cable tie. Excess. Once that receiver's in place, as you can see, I will show you, it's all ready to go. The old steering servo saver makes the steering a lot slower. But I do look forward to uh, getting this all out back on the road and having some more fun with it. I'm going to put a bigger motor in it, a better speed controller in it and put this old pup on lipos. Hope you've enjoyed that little how-to video. Plenty more to come on the channel, things like that. And hopefully, the next time you see this, we'll be modifying it big style. Anyway, see you soon.